Hello, this is Jeff at ExcaliburWebsites.com. I'm going to give you an idea of what your strategic plan will look like and how it will help boost your online profits. Here's the title page with my contact information and your company name. Moving on with your business name, we talk about your unique selling proposition, your audience, and your brand tone and personality. We get into more depth about your most valued customer, their age, their occupation, what they do when they get home at night, their relationships, things like that. We may get into your secondary audience. These are stagers and they can actually influence your customer into purchasing from you. So it's important to know about them. We take a look at your assets and allies. These influencers can also include other people like um, teachers or people that are doing blogging wherever they are online, these can influence your customer into buying your product. So we need to know about them. We'll take a look at the competitive landscape. We take some observations about what advantages your competitors have. So here's one competitor. They offer email programs and online mentorship. This one is another product. Uh, talks about the benefits and disadvantages of this business. Again, another competitor. So we make observations about uh, their blog posts that they're doing, whether or not they have an active community forum, things like that. Another competitor here. Do you have access to them? What is the quality of their products? Um, you know, are they growing their business? Another another customer here. Um, what are their products like? Um, do they have resources that you can download, etc. Then, if appropriate, another competitor is analyzed and another competitor is analyzed here. Talk about the size of their audience, their reach, what kind of um, freebies they may be offering, what kind of other techniques they can be offering to gather customer emails and turn those customers into buyers. We also do some research about your general business niche, find about the opportunities in there, help you actually decide on your niche and find out what opportunities are there. You may need um, to leverage the power of social media and there are a number of other things that we may suggest that you do to boost your online business. So here's a picture of the overall strategy as far as captivating your customer's attention, nurturing them in the leads, converting them into buyers, making them happy, upselling them into even more products and turning them into people that will make referrals to create even more online profits for you. We have some action steps that you can do now and that you can take every three months. These are concrete action steps that we'll give that you can follow. There's some more concrete action steps about once you've captured your customers emails and then something the activities that you can do now and activities that you can do every two months. You're going to want to nurture your audience with consistent follow ups so we have action items for now and actions that you will do on an ongoing basis. You want to convert your customers into buyers. So there's actions that you can do right now and actions that you should be doing about every three to six months to help convert those people into buyers. Once they bought, you want to make sure they're happy. So we have actionable items here that you can take care of right when they're becoming buyers and then three to six months after that. Second phase will be upselling your customers. We'll create a strategy for that. And you also need a strategy to get referrals. So here is a long list of what we call the now list, things that you can be doing now and you should be doing now to boost your online sales, get more customers, nurture them, turn them into buyers and into raging fans that will send referrals to your business. Here's the other list that you should be doing after you do the now list. This is called the sooner or later list and there are several action items there. So you have a written plan that you can follow. Things are not left to chance. Um, and when you're approaching the completion of certain items that we talk about, here's another checklist that we give you to follow based on your unique business. And there's another part of the checklist there. Certain things you're going to be doing ongoing as far as nurturing your customers, perhaps social media and other things like that. 
that gives you an idea of the plan. We analyze your customers. We analyze your business. We give you specific action steps to follow that will help you skyrocket your profits online. Thank you.